Well, I'm in between race, well, not in between race. I'm about to start driving. Apparently, somebody put me on a horse in race one, so I'm going to go drive that horse in six minutes. But until I go drive that horse, I thought I would get into my videos. I have not finished them all yet. Saturday was a rainy, miserable day. Uh, I got my opening done. Got my opening done. Two, on my way home this morning, everybody was tired. The mud knocked the hell out of me. And then the kids from the day before in the pool running around. And everybody was just tired. And I don't like doing my videos when I'm tired. I'd rather have a little energy. I went home and I was exhausted this afternoon. I slept for two hours. Addy and I had a little had a little nap. Uh, and now I'm sharp. I'm sharp for tonight. So uh, we're going to start with the small burns. Now, pay attention, please. Yes, I got. I, I finally had a conversation with her. Usually it's one note, then another, and another. And it's almost like we're pen pals. Every day I'll get a response. <laughs> that, but Herb's busy as hell too, man. I mean, it's not that easy. So uh, he said, great news with yes. I'm really happy with what I saw today. Going to go a couple of fast miles with him and then we'll have him in to qualify. So if he was stalling, he did a fantastic job. But I doubt that's what it was. As I said to you, um, you know, Irv knows what this horse has the capable of making. Um, you know, how fast he can go, what he what he could be. And if he wasn't comfortable with what he saw, then by all means, you know, I know it was frustrating and very painful, but take your time and do it right. It appears he has. He said he'll have him qualified, maybe not next week, the week after. It's probably not what you want to hear, but at least we got a firm date. He said two weeks from the other day. It was like Wednesday. So I don't know when they qualify on Wednesday, but he said um, he was very happy with what he saw this week. So that's good. Good. Uh, Mark Beckwith, uh, so admirable, got requalified. He said he was going to try and get her around, nurse her around Vernon next week, um, get her raced, and then start to try and get some confidence where he can start um, racing her a little more liberally. So I told him, fine, you know, you do it. He, he wants to keep the filly, but he also knows that if she keeps running, he's going to have to make a move. Um, he's just that type of guy. He doesn't want to waste anybody's time or money. He really believes that so admirable has got a lot of talent, and he'd like to be the one racing her. So we'll see how she work, makes out this week. Perfect record. He said his knee his knee was much, much better. He'll likely look to race him this week, I suspect. And then Sweet Ambitions is in on Monday. I, I'm, I'm a, I didn't want to ask him, but, you know, for her to have so much mucus and, and kind of be run down a little bit, I almost would have thought she would have waited another week. But, you know, he's under immense pressure too. You know, trainers put a lot of pressure. We all put a lot of pressure on ourselves to, um, you know, to do well for the people we're associated with and, um, oh, three minutes. Um, I didn't feel that we put pressure on him, but at the same time, uh, maybe put a lot on himself. So she's in to go tomorrow. Let's hope she races well. Jim King had a great conversation with Jim King about West 52nd. He will be, uh, racing next week in the lower class. He figures he can win. And then he said, let's circle back then and we'll talk then. So we'll have a, a pretty constructive conversation about what we're going to do with West 52nd. At that point, I want to know what all our options are. I'm looking at them right now. Um, myself. Tim Dickey cruising in style, tough class last week. He'll be back in to go this week, I believe, or the week after. Um, just got to find a consistent class, consistent race format for cruising in style. And then, of course, the St. Charles people have uh, still have Tim Ohodini and uh, Tim Ohodini, who jogged the other night, looked fantastic. And I forgot him in my opening. I apologize. Uh, Tim Ohodini looked fantastic the other day. And Brave World, we gave him a week off because he's an old horse going into a series. Why push him? and rush them. So those two horses will start their series next week. Three starts and then they're all done at Northville Downs. I suspect we'll send these horses right back to Ontario, but we'll see what takes place. Uh, we'll see what takes place uh, over the next three weeks. Anyway, I will talk to you guys soon. I hope everything is good and going well for you. Uh, I'm about to go drive a long shot and then Britska and then another long shot and then I'm uh, going back home. Good luck to the Britska group. He sold after the race tonight. Uh, and we will move forward right after that. Take care. I'm listening to see if they call me.